Hi, how are you? It's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures with Elcent the Worgen Hunter. Last episode, we did the Dungeon Halls of Stone and a few quests in Silverbrook. And today, we are in Gundrak. We're actually going to, you know, participate in this dungeon this time and actually kill stuff. Last time, we just kind of ran through, ran by everything. We have one more quest to do here. It's one of the reasons why I wanted to, to come back to one of a kind. We need the Jakari Colossus fragment. I'm going to make sure we get that. It's just over here. We fought back the scourge. What chance you thinking you got? Forlorn Breastplate of War. 54 strength, 61 stamina, improves critical strike rating by 82. Plate chest. All right, looks like we're not doing the skip. This tank's about, he's all about getting an XP. I'm down with that. And the skip is over there. You just jump into the piranha infested waters. And then you get to pretty damn close to the next boss. Chikari Earthshaker. Should pull these guys too. There you go, yeah, the rogue was thinking. It's the same as me. I don't know why you wouldn't want to go this way while leveling up. There's so much XP to get here. Like, why skip this? You know what I mean? It makes sense if you're doing, like, a daily heroic. You know, you're just trying to get your daily heroic done as fast as you can, but while you're leveling up, you might as well get all this XP. And we might hit level 77 today. It'll be close. Oh, I almost fell off there. Just fell off into piranha infested waters. Oh, it's a road, it's a Worgen road. Here we are at the Tomb of the Ancients. Traps going up. These rogues are dicing them up. And here's the next box the Drakari Colossus. Okay. 
go. Got the Jakari Colossus Fragment. And a male tress dropped. Harburg of Totemic Mastery. 118 stamina, 52 intellect, and 46 spirit. A lot of intellect gear in these dungeons. We have gotten a few uh, male pieces, though. I think it was mostly from the quest. Try to pull these guys. Can't really get these ones, though. I'm gonna run back here. See if we can get them all. There we go. Hopefully we can hit them all with that. Put our trap down and start teeing off. You can hear a, hear a combat road doing killing spree there. Yeah, the globe, globe did a killing spree, yeah. Fun ability. go. Let's get some snakes. I'm going to pull them all. I'm going to help them get these ones too. Try to bring them all down. There you go. Use a little bit of AOE. A trap to go off. We get a lot of damage. They're melting. We're going to take them down. So many skins in this dungeon. Gonna kill anybody who trespass on these minions of this skill. Heed my call. This boss is getting gonna rend your flesh. And the embroidered gown of Zuldrak drop. 105 stamina, 51 intellect, and 55 crit. I don't think we can swim over there. You gotta go that way, maybe? I wonder if he knows where he's going. Oh, good. Probably got water walking. Oh, not anymore. I'm getting attacked. Okay, well, I'm gonna let them go. And I'm gonna do this. Now they can get attacked. No, are you gonna? Are you serious, dude? Oh man, can I get a res? I should have went where he went up there. He's got vanished though. Like, why is he worried? Wish I didn't get attacked. I wonder if he can res me. Is that the priest? I'm like right there. Yeah, just kill him. Should have. We should have just killed them. I don't know why we ran. It's all good though. I guess we were in combat. That's why I couldn't res. I always die to the piranhas, man. Every time I do this dungeon, piranhas kill me. Even after using <laughs> Bane Death, the thing is somebody jumped on the island and then they swapped back to me. Toggle right here.
Here we go, last boss. Stampede Trap. Neck with haste rating 56, expertise rating 21, and attack power 50. It's probably better than what we have. I'm just going to read it. Put it on. It's a lot of haste rating. Attack power doesn't help as much. I think we won it, the Amulet of the Stampede. Where is it? Right up here. Talk to me. All right, one of a kind. You get me a piece of that golem, man? Oh, yeah, man. That be what I'm looking for. Here you go. Take something nice for your troubles. And they got some leather boots for us. Don't really like these, though. Our other boots have a uh, crit strike rating on them and haste rating. This really only has like five more agility, so okay, okay. I think we'll just take the item that sells for the most. Stay away and that from is the going voodoo. to probably be this, the plate boots. Yeah. You be careful, man. Slippers of the Mojo Dojo. All right, so let's leave the instance. We're going to get back into Silverbrook again. We'll see what's going on here with these trappers. Oh, he's back. Trap one here. Don't snaps back for revenge. Our pet guy? <laughs> Is that him on the ground? Yeah. Dead or he's taking a nap. Let's res our pet here. There it is, right over here, Chi. And then we need to head back to Silverbrook. Four and a half bars, guys, and we will be level 77. Cage prisoner, words of warning. What can I do for you? Who's there? Are you here to kill me? Please, you don't have to do this. For the alliance. You, you're not the you're not one of them. Quick, let me out. We have to get to Amber Pine Lodge immediately. Once Lieutenant Dumont finds out who these people really are, this town will be reduced to rubble. Be careful. Alright, so is this uh oh, I guess we just go to Amber Pine Lodge? I thought this was gonna turn into a we can go this way. What does this say? Mount up. Well, we can't really jump on any of these mounts. Can we just meet him there? Oh, here we go. There we go. He's had to get his gear. Take Ducal's horse. He's the he's one of them now. There's a lamp oil in the back. Make use of it. The fiends hate fire. Yeah, this crust is pretty funny. So we got burning oil. Throw burning oil at your pursuers, slowing them down, inflicting a bunch of damage. And we got gallop, increases the movement speed of the horse. And if they get close, we got trample, which increases the time between their attacks by 33% and slowing their movement speed by 87%, which is quite a bit. Chasing us down, guys.
How's our horse doing? He's doing okay. I wonder if you can fail this quest. I don't think you can. Look at all the worgen chasing us down. So that's what you do. You group them all up. You trample. Brothers. It'd be funny if this quest was changed a little bit because of, like, if you're a worgen. You'd be like, wow, you're one of us. And then you, like, do quests for Silverbrook. And you kind of go undercover, I guess. That'd be interesting. Getting there, guys. Well, here they come. What a jump! And pulls we even pulled the bear. Getting wild here. Yeah, I guess you can fail. We have, we have 20k. Pretty, pretty damn close to the end, though. Pretty damn hard to fail. You'd have to not use like any abilities, I'd assume. Looks like we're going to make it, guys. We've gotten away from Silverbrook and the Worgen. And back to Amber Pine Lodge. Alright, here we go. Let's tell them the bad news. Worgen blasted, light forsaken, filth ridden worgen. It's time we showed the locals what us civilized folk do with beasts like them. It's funny because we're worgen. <laughs> um, ah, nice ring. 21 critical strike rating, 22 ace rating, and 64 attack power. I don't know if it's better than the rings we've got here, though. So maybe we'll just go with these plate boots and sell them. See you later. A swift response. Our response must be immediate, decisive. We must teach these savages not to cross us. Our scouts have located what's left of the Silverbrook trappers. You know the ones you didn't get to douse in flames. Apparently, they're blockading the road to the southeast. Perhaps they're trying to box us in. Head to the forest's edge post and take care of them. Their leader reported to be a man named Vladik. Make sure he's dealt with. For the Alliance. Okay. Let's go deal with Vladik. One of us. Yeah, we're getting pretty damn high of a level for this place. This must be level 77. We'll keep doing quests here for a little bit longer. Maybe we'll check out a new zone. I think that'd be kind of cool.
We did get to do a few quests in Grizzly Hills. But I don't think we can stay here for too much longer. We not okay there we go. We got uh Mikhail's journal. The journal was written by a denizen of Silverbrooks named Mikhail. Details the arrival of a shadow worshipping group called the Wolf Cult. The villagers were reluctant to embrace the cult at first, but sympathizers sprung up gradually among town residents. Unsettled by this, Mikhail sent his daughter Sasha away from Silverbrook while he attempted to reason with the other villagers. Mikhail's last entry mentions a meeting of local town leaders to discuss the unspecified events in Hollowstone Mine. I guess that's where they, when they turned into Worgen. deal with uh, Vladik here. He looks awesome. He's got a really cool like, transmog. Alright. Let's head back and turn these in. We'll be pretty damn close to 77. And we'll probably unlock a new dungeon. Seems like we're getting a new dungeon every level. Greetings. Have a good one. What's that you've got there? See you later. I imagine that there would be more to this than just an isolated town of hostiles. We have men near Hollowstone Mine. Perhaps it would be in our best interest to do a little research. So we got some shoulders here. Not bad, but not as good as the ones we already have. So we'll just take the plate boots. For the alliance. Port degree and stout mantle again. The Westfall boys were sent east to look for a path into the northern territories. Their secondary objective is to secure strategic resource points. So I'm sure they wouldn't mind investigating a mine. Look for the Westfall Brigade encampment far to the northeast and seek out Green Stout Battle. You might remember him if you ever spent any time in Westfall. Make sure to tell him I sent you. He'll be more than happy to let you claim a functioning mine for the king. Good one. Be careful. Swift response. It's a shame those trappers turned out to be afflicted. We sure could have used a few more fighting men. May the poor souls rest in peace. See you all right, so the mine is all the way up here. So I guess we're done with that. Is there a few more quests here? Not too sure. Let's check outside. Looks like there is a failed world tree, a dark influence. What brings you here? The wind and trees whisper of unseen troubles. The land appears healthy, but there's more going on here than meets the eye. A failed world tree. My ancestors once planted a tree in the middle of Grizzly Hills. It was called Vordrasil, and it was to become a world tree. For reasons long forgotten, after the tree was fully grown, they dedicated it, decided it needed to be destroyed. Its giant trunk splintered at, tree lo at three locations in the area to the north, where the tree touched the ground. Foul ooze began to crawl the earth. Bring me slime samples so I can begin my work and the earth can be healed. A dark influence. The when the tree Vordrasil fell, its hollow remains grew roots deep into the ground. I want you to go north of here to the three locations where the trunk shattered and go as far beneath the ground as you can. You'll find them west of Grizzlemaw. Use the orb once you get there to get an imprint of the energy surrounding the area. If we are to heal the land, we must first find out what caused Vorgesil to fall as a world tree all those years Go ago. Peace. All right, so let's head up here.
I gotta get these slime samples. Why can't we attack? Okay. It's our, it's our, oh, no. Our, our bow broke. Like, what's going on here? Well, good thing we're close to town. Hopefully we can go repair it right here. Pretty sure we can. Should be a repair NPC around here somewhere. But that was unfortunate. Yeah, right around here. I supply only the finest goods. Thank you. Food. Could sell some junk. I'll do that later, though. Sell a few things. Have a good one. Damn, we got a lot of leather, though. Gonna have to go back to town soon. That's one thing we haven't done in a while. I haven't gone back to town. We checked out our hunter trainer. We probably have a lot of abilities to learn. I don't think I've done that since we came to the northern. So that could be something we do. We do that and uh, get a new pet. Cool if you could have one of these fetid oozes as a pet. Right, so we'll make our way inside. Looks like there's a few. A few inside, and we need to go down here anyways. Where's the orb? Aw, oh, damn it. Probably in a weird spot. There it is. the orb and I think we have to go to another one a few more spawn spawn locations Need a few more slime samples. I wonder if we can get slime samples at the other locations, though. Let's go and see. Probably can. There's the next one just over here. So yeah, there's some oozes right here. Just fly in. It's one beautiful thing. One of the good things about flying, you just can skip a lot of. Fighting a lot of mobs. I wonder if our pet can get down here. No, it can't. Still use the sampling energy. There's no other oozes in here. Then we just need to go to the last one, which is just over here. taste. I'm getting slimed. Can't get those final two samples. I 
I don't know if we'll get 77 from this, though. We'll be close. We need 80k XP. Which is quite a bit. I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we'll get 40k per quest. Maybe 20k at the most. go the last spot where we have to use the geomancer's orb for some reason that didn't work oh this is we already were in this one man damn it that's why it's best to go to this one first and then you make your way up or you you know or you go to this one first and you make your way down it's all good though I think we got a fetid sample over here. And here's the last one here, right? The heck is that thing? Sure nab, sure nab, Yog Saran. So we're going to have to fight our way out of here. And there we go. We got our slime samples. Let's head out of here. We'll turn these two quests in. And then it will probably be like, I don't know, one quest away from 77. I'm going to get it, though. I want to end the episode by getting, getting 77 at least. Looking forward to doing the Cataclysm Zones, though. I haven't done Uldum or, or Vastir yet. Where they're located on the map? Like, where the heck is Vastir? Is it here? Right over here, Kazan. That's where the the goblins start. Yeah, I'm not too sure where Vastir is. Is that there? It is. Right over here, in the Eastern Kingdoms. Greetings. All right, a failed world tree. Elune. Have you gathered the samples L sent? May the, stars guide the slime is not natural L sent. Its very nature is corrupt and evil. We must find out more. All right, so nothing for us here. Nice chest, though, actually. Better than ours. 56 agility, 56 stamina, and 38 critical strike. The only problem is it's leather, but the stats are much better, so... We are going to put that on. It's right up here, the, the wax-coated chest guard. Going a peace. dark influence. The energy in the orb is overpowering. A dark force has tainted the ground near Vorgisil's remains. We will need to investigate more. Okay, so like, look at that. Sliver away. 20k away. We'll do these last two. Possible link. The Furbolg that live east of here are more aggressive and bestial than the ones we're used to. Our forces have squared off with them more than once, and the survivors always speak of a dark, slimy substance dripping from their corpses. Their condition could be linked with the contaminants we found on Vortrazil's remains. Bring me samples of the Furbolg's blood. 
You will find them in the Rage Fang Shrine and the Heart's Blood Shrine far to the east. Goddess, our children. children of Ursok. The Furbolgs of Grizzly Hills carry with them a corruption of some kind. That is for sure. Tribal war has broken out amongst them after years of peaceful coexistence. What remains to be seen is whether the bears they worship as gods have also been tainted. Ursok's two children, Orson and Codian, dwell in the Heart's Blood Shrine and the Rage Fang Shrine south of so south and southeast of Grizzlemaw. See if they will speak to you regarding what was happening here. Stars, okay. So it looks like we're heading east, guys. And we'll uh, check out these stories here from the bear, guys. I think one's a brown bear and one's a one's like a polar bear, like a white bear. Don't mess with polar bears. They're the, they're tough. Same with grizzly bears. Black bears aren't that bad. But if you see a grizzly bear or a polar bear, you're pretty much they're dead. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. <laughs> Just hope that they don't kill you. Yeah, there he is. Orson the polar bear. I once roamed the Grizzly Hills, son of the great Ursok, who ruled over this land. But now I'm doomed to spend the rest of my life in this cave. Free to go, Orson, but tell, first tell me what's wrong with the furball. You don't understand. If I wanted to, I could fight my way out of the cave. It's my father, Ursok. He's returned from the dead, but he's not the same. He gave his life during the War of the Ancients thousands of years ago. For centuries, the furball who worshipped him tried to devise a way to resurrect him. Finally, they decided they were to attempt to regrow the failed world tree, Vorgesil, and use its magic to bring back my father. What happened? The sapling they grew bore a fruit. At first, it seemed to work. Ursok did come back, and I was filled with joy for a brief moment. As he recovered, it was clear that he wasn't the same, neither were the Furbolg. Whatever evil caused the ancient druids to tear down Vorgesil manifested itself in the new tree and turned them all into monsters filled with bloodlust. The thing that now walks the Grizzly Hills is not my father, and it must be put to rest. Thank you, son of Ursok. I'll see what I can do. Okay. So let's deal with these furbolg guys. And another thing, too, like, if you ever see, like, bear cubs... Don't be like, oh, oh yeah, they're cute. Oh, look at these cute. Like, <laughs> just get out of there. Because you know the mom's roll, ro like roaming around, and you're about to get smacked. Don't get anywhere close to the cubs. I've seen so many videos of people being like, oh, look at the cubs, and then the mother just comes right right after them and then they knew like it was going to be a fight oh, not bad L level 75 here in the, on the east side of uh, Grizzly Hills it's not too bad just on the west end, there's uh, low levels of 73. But yeah, maybe we'll stay in Grizzly Hills for a little bit longer. Can I skin these guys? No, you can't skin them. They're humanoids. Thought about that with fur bullocks.
We are tearing these furbolgs up. Just need a few more blood. Hunter's a lot of fun, though. Such a chill class to play, man. Like, <laughs> it's, it's, if you enjoy solo leveling, I think Hunter's probably the best solo leveling class. Oh, there we go. We got the blood. Let's go have a chat here with, um,. Codian. Let's see what he has to say. I where our hearth is at. Wow, our bags are getting pretty damn full. We got it at Amber Pine Lodge. Nice. We can just hearth back there. Yeah, we're going to have to... I'm going to have to sell all this junk. Oh, there we go. We leveled up by, by finding a new uh, area in Grizzly Hills. How about that? Oh, we can get new glyphs too. Yeah, we gotta go back. We got three, three more glyphs we can get. I think those unlocked at 75. All right, so let's check our talents, guys. Not too sure what to take next. Increase your focus regeneration of your pets by 10%. Increase the critical strike chance of your kill command by 5%. I don't really use it that much. Reduces the focus cost of your arcane shot by one and your, your explosive shot and my arrow shot by two. That's pretty good. I think we'll take efficiency. We use pretty much all those abilities. Except for Chimera shot. So that does help. Right, so where the heck is this uh, bear we're looking for here? It's right down here in this cave. There he is, Codian. I am Codian, daughter of Ursok. I watch over this once sacred shrine. Not seen a stranger come here in a long time. Furbolg named Tur Ragepa, not one of ours. This one came from the southern lands. He was one of the Timbermaw tribe. He wanted to see Ursok. He seemed to think that Vorgesil's taint could be purified and used to save my father. It is foolish to entertain such hopes. You will agree when you see the darkness that has afflicted him like I have. All right, well, now we know. Ursok is gone. He's gone rogue. Let's hearth back and we'll turn these quests in, guys. And yeah, I think next episode we'll probably... do a little bit of town stuff, maybe get a new pet, all that, all that stuff. Maybe we'll get a new pet first. Check out our hunter abilities. It's just stuff like that. Possible link. Have you obtained the blood samples, Elsa? The corruption present in this blood is identical to that of the slime. I don't have a good feeling about this. Alright, so we got a helmet here. But it's not better than the one we currently have. So we're just going for gold. And that will be the plate shoulders. Children of Ursok. Ursok's children are wise. Their words explain much of what we've seen so far. Looks like this quest chain's going to continue. We'll probably come back to it. Why not? And then eventually, I guess we'll be making our way up here. Yeah, guys, next episode, we'll probably... I'm going to look into getting a new pet, but we're going to head to town and upgrade our hunter abilities and get some new glyphs, all, all that stuff. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.